So, as you can see, Ginger is all trimmed up nicely here. So, she looks pretty good. And I certainly don't claim to be a professional. But it's functional and it works really well for my needs for my dogs. And I prefer it over spending a lot of money every couple months to have this done. Um, one thing that I do that is very different from if you go to a groomer is I don't bathe my dogs until afterwards. Uh, in a lot of cases, we're dealing with burrs and things like that. I just clip them out. And uh, I don't know if that's the proper way to do things, but that's the way I've always done it. So um, when I get done clipping them, if we're in the bathtub or outside, I then clean up as much of the hair as I can. And you can see that there's still, still some here in the tub, but it's very minimal. And then I just turn on the water and we're going to get a bath. I do have the um, shower heads that come down on a wand here, like this. And that is pretty much a must have. If you don't have that, then you'll need a sink or to put them in some kind of a tub where you can fill up the water with a cup and pour it over them for giving them a bath. But um, these make it so easy. If I'm outside, I use the hose. Poor dog, get in the bath. I just wait for the water to get warm. While I'm at it, I just run the water here around the around the side. As it collects the hair down here, I just grab it and I'll be able to throw all that away. When I shampoo my dogs, I use um, baby shampoo or dog shampoo. Um, pretty much, I use, uh, my dogs haven't been sensitive to skin problems, so I haven't had any problems if I use just about anything on them. Um, you'll know if your dog has special shampoo. Pet formulated shampoos are best to use. So, um, yeah, go ahead and use that. So I'll just shampoo her and then I can condition her and then we'll be good to go. So we'll be back in a moment. Okay, I'm getting Ginger shampooed up nicely. I pour shampoo on her. I get her tail good. I pick them up. I get her feet good. You can see after you've shaved them, there might be some random hair stuck underneath their feet. And I scrub up under her belly good. Make sure that's clean. All of her legs and her feet. My dogs are very used to getting baths. They're very, they tolerate this really well. <laughs> so you can see she's dirty. It's been a long winter. Okay, make sure the water's not too hot. I do spray her face, get her all clean in there. I try not to get the water directly into her ears. And then as I push it off here. See all that dirt and hair coming off of her? I should... I don't know any groomers. I'd like to ask them why they bathe dogs before they trim them. But I guess I uh, will have to meet, meet one to talk to them. Spray, if I lift her leg, I can spray under her belly really well. Lift on this side, get under her arms. Just make sure you get all that soap off of her. Okay, see at the same time here, I'm cleaning up the tub. I'm good to go with that. Make sure her front is rinsed really well. And I just keep squeezing the water out of her to make sure that I've got all of the soap out. Looks to me like she's done. So I think we're good. She's going to be done. All right. Move that away. Now's a good part. Happy dog. So, I use one or two towels. Make sure you get their ears really well and get their face nice. And then just get them nice and dry. And then she'll go crazy running around the house. This is what they do. They love it after their bath.
But, you know, if you make it a nice experience for them where you're playing with them and talking to them nice, and maybe they get a little treat or something when they're done, then the bath won't be a bad thing. Okay, thank you. We're all done. Out you go. Okay, so the last thing I do when I'm done after I've cleaned up the tub and whatnot is I clean up my clipper blades. So I brush them off. I told you I have this toothbrush here. I pop off the top there and you can just clean it off in here. Get all the bits of dog hair off of there. Brush them out in here. And then I don't slide it all the way out, just slide it part way out on one side. Got a lot in there. Just get that all clean. Slide it to the other side. Get that all clean. Okay, then you can give it a spray here so it's well lubricated, right? It's good to go. Next time I want to uh, do my dog. I'm all take, taken care of. Thanks for watching.